Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this part of this logo. Well, they sent me the whole logo. And they're going to scroll through it out. And they're trying to see if there was an easier way to straighten up these lines and make them straight lines. And that is quite possible. But I actually think it would take you longer to uh, straighten them up uh, than it would to uh, just redraw it. And like for instance, you could grab that one, hold down the shift key and grab that one, right click and convert them to a line. And you see how that worked. But it would be pretty painstakingly for me to do that to all the lines. So I've done it and did it a lot quicker. And it's not dead on, but for the person I'm doing the video for, if you will... Um, just take your time when you're doing it, and um, I believe you can get it dead on. Um, so all I did is take a square, a rectangle, and rotate it on a 45-degree angle. And I kind of matched up the size of that rectangle. And matter of fact, my rectangle kind of looks a little, no, it's good. So I had it at a 45 degree angle and there's, you know, certain number of contours. So I just contoured it five times to the inside. I took my smart fill tool and filled in the outside one. And then I'm going to, uh, well, let's, let's do this. Let's change our nudge factor to a distance that we can just nudge it out of the way. So this thing is less than two inches. So we'll change our nudge factor to two inches. And let's nudge this color smart field down out of the Well, that's way too far. Um, maybe I'll just nudge it a half of an inch. Because we're working on something really little right now. So we'll click on that and we'll nudge it down. Then we'll take the smart fill tool and fill in the other ones. So we're doing every other one, and you get something like that, and there's your start. So all I did is just place them in the number one. Um, I would group them together, control G, and if you just kind of reduplicate the, the process here and just move them around, till you get them, you know, equal distance apart, keep making duplicates of them. And then you can take this whole thing and left click, no fill, right click hairline. And you can see right here, I'm a little bit off. I'm too close to this one, but I'm not going to worry about it for the video. And then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete the weld key, the weld tool won't really work in this instance. And um, virtual segment delete key will work pretty quick, especially like in this corner. Whoop, I went too far. Let's zoom in. And then on these lines, just individually cut them. And there you have it. I think he's going to be cutting these out. So you're going to need some sort of stopping point. So let's take our one and just curse it out of the way for a second. Tell you what, let's change our nudge distance to 0.2. Let's take this outside one and cursor it down a couple of times. Let's go to the contour. And this time, let's contour to the inside. Uh, well, let's see what this looks like. And you want to go to the inside and not the center. Well, I had five steps. So we just want one step. That's probably too much, but you're going to get the idea here in just a second. We'll leave it like that. Let's go up to range and break the contour apart. Grab both these and nudge them back up. And then you could cut 
this interior line away. And then that way you're going to have a border to cut. And you don't even have to do that. Let's do this. Let's take that back. And this is how I would do it is I would use a smart fill tool on every, every other one. And I would also be, while I'm doing that, I would nudge it over. I like doing it. And see here, there, I'm a little bit off. But you get the idea, and it's going to take a little bit of time. And this way you can kind of see what you're doing. Like I shouldn't have done that one. I should have done this one. And then that one. Whoop, one more. Could have done this one and you kind of get the idea well and I did the one thing wrong I had rounded contour and you want this sharp so let's just back up here for a second and just so you'll understand and you can always go here and go down there and then let's go forward till we get our now let's contour it this time but this time we want square corners and that's much better. Go to range, break to contour apart, but select them both. That's the only thing wrong with the smart fill tool. If you're on the smart fill tool, it's going to do that. And let's just cursor them up twice. Whoop. Let's grab the zoom tool. Now let's zoom in a little bit more. And let's maybe start at the bottom of the smart fill tool. And I'm going to cursor over. And you can kind of see, like I shouldn't have done that. You have to do every other one. So let's just delete that smart field. And you see where I'm getting at. And then since we broke the contour apart, we can move this over. And then when you make no fill in lines, that way you can have cut lines. He's going to actually cut this out on a scroll saw. He is not a laser person, but he's going to use different colored woods in the background. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.